Uh, I'm gonna go blind by looking at this light. What's up you guys? It's Gianna and today for you I have something magical. You know my routine, put in some dry shampoo, it's white. It's really white. So we're gonna see that, I'm sure. I'm probably gonna touch my hair 50 times, so if that irritates you, tell your therapist about it, you know? Not me. Today we're going to be making, uh, I guess you could call it personal essence rose water with intention. For short, rose in Florida water. A lot of people have asked me about Florida water. Do you use it? How do you use it? Do you just use it for washing like furniture or do you physically use it on your face? And I'm here to tell you, I use it on my face. Now, you don't have to use it on your face. Matter of fact, if you have sensitive skin, I do not recommend it because naturally people use it in a floor wash for cleansing negative energy. Now, the same to be said with like sage oil, palo santo oil, but it's completely up to you. So if you feel like maybe your granny or your granny's granny or your mom has ever used this in any beauty routine, although it is called, you know, cologne, uh, Florida cologne water, so people do put it on the skin. Um, but if that's something that you're worried about, disregard this whole video. Maybe just make the rose water. But I'm going to tell you what I do to knock out negative energy, to bring the essence of love to myself when I use this rose water because roses are full of the intention of love, passion, lust, um, even family, just that that essence of ultimate emotional fulfillment and happiness and abundance. So with those roses, because they're sexy, we like to put stuff like that on our body, just like you would use a perfume, just like you would use a facial toner or put on your makeup for the day. It's a ritual of allowing yourself that essence of self-love and beauty and radiating that outward to have suitors, possible suitors, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, family, whatever, to be like, you're looking extra fine today, honey! Not only have I noticed such a difference within my skin, my complexion, the glow, the acne, peace out, you know what I'm saying? But I think it's beautiful to put on before and after your makeup to really set that so nothing like creases. If you have like, you know, smile lines, if you're getting a little old, you have some wrinkles, and you put on a concealer, it kind of sits in there. But when you put this on before and after, it releases that inner glow and allows your skin to shine through under the makeup as well if that makes sense so whether you are using this for a separate purpose other than you know your own attraction beauty or you could use it as a blessing water that's why i have the rose of jericho right here i have hot uh, oh my god i have so many lights on right now i got a new ring light so grateful for that but it's hot it's like 70 degrees already in this ring light and then here I have my blessing oil, which I believe I've covered before. My different oils that I have in my goddess collection comes with three oils. We have divine light, smacked myself, divine light, which is this one. I have sunshine and I have unwind. And you can look the purposes on my website if you're interested, www.thewildrosegarden.com. Self promo, check that out. I guess you fixed up with your spiritual ick. Anyhow, so something like this can go in your rose water as well. And that's what I talk about when I say putting intention into something. This is a blessing luck oil. You will be getting that oil that is bringing in prosperity, that is bringing in abundance, luck. Don't call it money. Now, when people, what I see wrong is when people light money candles. That's all you are asking for, so you're really limiting the amount of abundance that is possible for you. Why I call this abundance oil, luck oil, prosperity oil, is to broaden the horizons with abundance. Abundance in love, abundance in family, abundance in life. That's what you're calling in instead of cash flow, which is not gonna make you happy. Looking out for you, again, hit a sister up. These little bottles right here, these are frosted glass bottles and I use them in my shop as well. This is what I'm going to be putting my rose water in. Now why it's important to have something, you don't need something that looks beautiful, but the essence of beauty is within and outwards. If you want to be perceived as that luxury, self-love, abundant woman, you need to cast your your juices, your, your 
rose juice essence in something pretty as well. It's like the eye, the aesthetic of the eye. I have a plain lavender oil, and this is of course for intention and for scent. If you're someone who wants to mix the essence of love, um, all that the rose properties offer, so we'll say the red for love and the smell of roses is gonna come off of that. If you're not a huge rose person, you can also use essential oil to mask that or to mix like jasmine or more cinnamon, grounding, loving, passionate type of essential oils to dedicate your purpose. The reason I brought this Rose of Jericho here is because Rose of Jericho is abundant and full of blessings. This plant is the resurrection plant. If you don't know much about it, um, I call it the Jesus plant because this plant for generations, you can keep this and pass it on to generations, to your kids, to your kids' kids, to your kids' kids' kids, stuff like that because this plant constantly resurrects and I think that is just a symbol of infinite abundance and the power of the universe. This is just going to bring you blessings and protection, um, which I really like from a plant because you were asking for that offer of protection and just like the plants give us, you know, trees, oxygen and everything like that, they are constantly providing for us. So us, by taking care of them, we are giving back and doing a give and take exchange. Here I have it open. What you're gonna do is if you buy a Rose of Jericho, I'm not a professional, maybe look it up if you know you think I'm spitting out some crazy things. Normally people submerge the Rose of Jericho, which is the wrong thing to do. You're going to just cover those roots, allow it to, over the next 24 to 48 hours, fully expand from a tumbleweed to a luscious green bush. Mine's still in the process, but can you believe that that's possible? Because it is. And then after 10 days, you're gonna collect that water, Pat it dry as it's starting to close back up and continue to take care of it as you will, whether you want it as a tumbleweed or, you know, every time you uh, make it alive again, resurrect it. You could put something like coins in it. You could put your engagement ring, um, anything like that. If you're having troubles in that area, what it's going to do is close in on those coins or that money that you put in it. You're going to rewater it and it's going to open back up and the flow of abundance is going to come in and you're no longer blocked. <sighs> I'm talking a lot. Okay. Um, so another thing I have here is just a crystal and this is simply for your blend. Again, designated to the purpose that your spray is for. You're going to want to have that crystal for that purpose. So here I have amethyst because I just want to bring in the calmness, the beauty, the intuition. I am a sucker for things that bring in intuition. I think that's such a power between any gender, um, but I love when women have good intuition. That's just like, told you so, beach. This is what you're gonna need. Yeah, get to that, Gianna, that'd be nice. Preferably boiling hot water. Make sure you're using something that isn't gonna explode if you put hot water in it. So get a mug or whatever. Your bottle can wait for the liquid to cool down when you transfer it, but as for getting that pigment and the plant's essence and oils, use hot water. You're gonna need your roses. And again, depending on your intention, use the color that you want. Orange roses, white roses, red roses, purple roses, yellow roses, whatever it is that you want for the purpose. I have a container for the petals to go and the water to sit. Um, I have my oils ready for my purpose, a little bit of blessings, never hurt nobody. And I have my Rose of Jericho water, if I decide to use that or not, and the crystal. So what you want to do is leave this overnight to 24 hours to let the color seep in, because the color, again, is important. If I've ever told you anything about magic, you'll know how important color and vibration is together to just put you on the level that you're looking for, the manifestation. So this has just started sitting within the past hour, so it's not really ready yet but I'm just going to bottle it up anyhow because I have bottles that are already ready that I'm gonna keep using. We're just going to let that flow in there. I'm gonna do two. And now you've got them. Happiness, self-love, and abundance. Cute. All right, now we've got our roses sat in here. And now I'm going to take one squirt of my blessing oil. Just going to get all the goodies because I have herbs in here. I'm trying to get all the good stuff at the bottom. Again, speaking, thinking your intention. I'm going to put a little bit of lavender in here as well because I just like it. Mm, nothing beats lavender and rose and rose and jasmine. Oh, 
So as for the Rose of Jericho, I think I'm going to leave that out until this is officially brewed. Um, but totally up to you when you want to put that water in. Again, remember it is plant water. It's a little bit dirty, but if you don't care about that, then go for it, girl. It depends what you're using this for. It has that rosy light glow, and this is going to get darker and darker, more of like a fuchsia color by the end of this. So here I have something to transport it as well. Um, so this already has all its properties inside, like I showed you before. It even has a little bit of Jericho water. Ah, uh, this is dangerous. Wait till it's cooled off. So now that that's in there, we're going to be taking our Florida water. Now, Florida water is obviously a preservative because it does have things inside that are alcohol-based. With this, you don't want to put too much or else your entire rose water will smell like this. Some people love this, some people hate it. I've heard the scent ranges from oranges to toothpaste, so whatever you take from that. Again, if you don't want to use this, you can use vodka. I'm just going to put a little bit of that in there. Here is your beautiful rose water. Again, imagine that this will be a dark fuchsia color. Let's, let's give it a shot. Ooh, girl. Girl. Oh, it's got that lavender in there. I forgot I did that. Oh, it's so good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial, and I will be making new videos pretty soon. I just had to kind of like get back into it with something a little more lighthearted. Sorry, not sorry. Love you guys so much. This is why I wanted to, even though life's a little crazy right now, I wanted to still provide for you guys. With that being said, see you in another video. Blessings, love and light, and I send you on your way.